Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful pearl flower earrings and they are really easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself So if you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release new videos usually two times a week and you will have a constant inspiration. And you could also like, share and comment that you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a short clip of this video where in only just 3-4 minutes you will be able to see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This saves you time and you could just enjoy the process of creation. You might also want to subscribe there for new inspiration. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, all my social networks. And see how this looks when I use 4mm beads. It's also beautiful, so you could try this variation. Here I'm just adding less seed beads. Okay, and now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 26 pearls that are 6 millimeters. Uh, these are 10 or seed beads. You could use 11 or seed beads, but you should add more beads at some places like probably here at the edge of your work here. So you could use 11 os if you don't have 10 os, but here I'm using 10 os. These are ear wires in this beautiful old gold color. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice like Fireline or everything you have in your stash. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers they are not obligatory i use them only if i need to go through the difficult bits okay and now i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and now i will start by picking up one pearl then a seed bead again a pearl a seed bead a pearl and a seed bead Okay, and when I slide those down, you see what I have. Okay, I have three pearls and three seed beads. And now I'm going to stick my needle in my mat. And here, what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making it by making here a loop and going twice or three times through the loop I've made. And I pull. Okay, and after I pull, I make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. And now guys, I have this. Okay, then in my next step, what I'm going to do is go through one of my pearls here. And what I'm going to take is a seed bead, a pearl, a seed bead, a pearl and a seed bead. Okay, now this is what I have on my needle. Two pearls and three seed beads. Okay, and I go back here in circle through this pearl. Okay, so now I have this. Now what I want to do is go in this direction And I want to exit through the next two pearls. Okay. Now I'm exiting here out of this pearl. And what I want to take is a seed bead, a pearl, a seed bead, a pearl, and a seed bead. Okay. This is the same thing I took before in my previous step. Okay, and I go back through this pearl that I'm exiting out of. Okay, now I have this. Now guys, in my next step, what I want to do is go through this seed bead and through the following pearl. 
and after that I pull and guess what I'm going to take the same thing a seed bead a pearl a seed bead a pearl and a seed bead absolutely the same thing I'm taking here and I go back through the pearl that I'm exiting out of okay now I have this see and what I want to do next is go through the following seed bead the pearl that's next to it and through this pearl here okay then I want to pull make my beads stay closer to each other and I take a seed bead a pearl a seed bead a pearl and a seed bead absolutely the same thing that I did in my previous steps okay and I pull okay now guys I have this don't worry that it looks somehow strange we'll fix it in the next steps okay and now I'm going through this seed bead and through the this pearl here okay now guys I have this and in my next step I'm taking something different a seed bead a pearl and a seed bead okay this is what I take on my needle and I'm going back through this pearl here okay and then here what I want to take is just one seed bead and I go back through my next pearl okay you see where I'm going okay and now guys I have this again don't worry that it looks a little bit strange at this stage okay so now what I'm going to do is flip my work because it's easier for me to flip it and I want to go through this pearl here and now guys I'm going to take eight seed beads okay I have my eight seed beads here for plus four and I'm going back in circle through this pearl okay pull tight okay then I go through the following seed bead here just like this take just one seed bead go through the following seed bead then I go through the pearl take eight seed beads okay I have my eight here and here is the step where if you use ten os, uh, sorry eleven os, you might want to add more beads let's say maybe nine or ten I'm not sure it depends on the manufacturer okay and now I take one seed bead and I go here through my next pearl and I'm going to take eight seed beads again I have here my eight go back go through the pearl and through the following seed bead if you can even in one movement take one seed bead and go here okay and I did those three steps guys and I'm sure you could do the next three steps absolutely the same way if you forgot how I'm doing this just rewind this video see how I do this repeat it from here and I'll meet you in a while just pause do this and meet me okay guys and when I continue beading here I am at my last step to finish this row and here I add my last seed bead and now what I want to do is go in the inner row and in order to reach it I'm going here through this pearl and through this pearl okay like this and now here guys you see where I'm exiting if you don't see my thread 
here is where I exit out of this pearl and now I'm going to take one more pearl and I will go here through the opposite pearl okay in this direction and now I have this and these guys will be the back of my work and this will be the front of my work okay so I want to reach again the center of my work and in order to do this I'm going here through these pearls one more time and I'm reaching the center here you see I have six seed beads in the center and I want to add seed beads in between them okay I'm exiting out of this seed bead take just one and go in the following seed bead okay and I will continue this until the end of this row Okay guys and I went through all of my beads adding beads in between them and now I'm exiting from this bead here that is just at the hole of my pearl and I'm going to take six seed beads. Okay I have six beads here and what I do is that I go through this middle bead. Here I have three seed beads and I'm going through the middle one. Of my tree okay just like this now I have this and I'm going to take six more okay I have six seed beads here and I'm going through the same central bead okay now I have this now guys pay attention here I'm going through this tree seed beads through the next three seed beads of the six that I added through the next three that are, are on my way okay and I'm exiting here if you don't see my thread here it is and I'm going to take three seed beads and I'm going here in the central seed bead of this tree that I have here okay and I have this now what I take are six seed beads okay I have six here and I'm going here in this seed bead that's at the hole of my pearl and I pull then I turn my work in this direction to be easier and then guys I take three just three seed beads and I go here through this tree you see where I'm going through these three seed beads that I added in my previous step okay now I have this okay then I go here through the central one and through the next three beads you see through three Pearl, uh, to through three seed beads okay like this and I take three more like this and I go through this central bead that I added last if you remember okay so here I am then I need six okay six and I go through this middle bead here in this direction and I pull then it is the step where I add three beads okay here it is and I go through these three beads here that are added last okay now I'm exiting here through the central bead 
and then through these three here that are on my way and I think you got the idea I will continue this the same way Okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I need just to connect those two rows. Okay I'm going like before through these three beads and then I'm not adding any more beads because here I already have the other three beads that I'm usually adding. They just meet here and when I pull I have this. Okay and now guys I'm going to do an additional step of reinforcement to finish my work okay I just exit it to this seed bit here at the edge and what I want to do is go here through those beads at the edge just like this okay and through the three beads that are between my pearls Okay, and I'm going to continue doing this and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire. Okay guys, and I went around through all of my beads and now I'm here where I want to go through five of my eight beads that I added at the edge. Okay. Okay, and as I'm exiting here, I'm taking my ear wire and I take one seed bead. I go through it and pay attention how I attach it because I want this to be the front part of my earring and this will be the back. And then I take one more seed bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I go back in circle through these two beads here. Okay, just like this. And I will go one more time around those beads. Okay guys, now in my next step I want to do a knot here and finish my work, okay? And I'm going here at the edge because I prefer to make this knot here to be hidden. And what I do is that I make here a loop and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then what I do is that I go in the following seed bead I stick my needle in my mat and what I do is that I cut my thread okay guys and now my pearl flower earring is ready Okay guys, and when I repeat these steps one more time, this is what I have I have a pair of beautiful pearl flower earrings and if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you won't miss a thing, you will be notified when I release new videos usually two times a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. 
and so down there in description you will find a short clip of this video where in only just three minutes you will be able to see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips. You could also subscribe there for inspiration and just to save time. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in the description you will also find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and all my social networks. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.